So I don't care about my March reads like at all. I read nine books and I have filmed my wrap up three times at this point. And it is to a certain point I just don't care enough to relay my feelings um, about how I felt exactly about every book. I just don't feel like editing a 20 minute video. So I'm gonna list the books I read in March, what star ratings I gave them, and then link my reviews below if you want to know more. And you might be asking yourself, or me, why even put it out there if you aren't going to like talk about the books you read. Because I'm a mess, but I am just not in the mood to do things right now. So. You're getting a subpar video. I have a lot of more than subpar videos coming. This is just something I felt like I want to need to get out. And yeah. The first book I read in March was A Question of Holmes by Brittany Cavallaro. I gave it four stars. It was better than the rest of the series. I didn't like the epilogue because it was in Jamie's point of view. If you don't know how I feel about Jamie by now, I'll link my last month's wrap up and the video where I talk about the the Charlotte Holmes series. I, I didn't like Jamie and that's basically it. Two is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor which I gave four stars. You know Chimera are cool. Never heard of them before. Didn't care about the romance. Kind of want to continue on because I hear the second book is better. Three, The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson I gave five stars. Love Nate, don't like David, like the anxiety representation, also like the and Janelle together. Four, Check Please by Nikozi Ukazu, obviously I gave it five stars, this is my third time reading it. Love this so much. Um, if you want to hear more of my thoughts, I'll link my February wrap up down below. Five, The Port Chicago 50, Disaster Mutiny and the Fight for Civil Rights by Steve Scheinkin. Gave it four stars. It's the first Steve Scheinkin book I've ever read. Um, read it because he was coming to my school. I will link down below the uh, vlog of him visiting the school and the interview that I did with him. I liked this book. Pretty okay. I, I don't really know how to rate nonfiction books. I think I know a little bit more now than I did, but um, I gave it four stars. It reads like a fiction story and I highly recommend Steve Jenkins. Bomb! The Race to Build and Steal the World's Most Dangerous Weapon by Steve Shankin. Five stars. This is a like mix between a science and a spy story about the building of the atomic bomb and I liked it. I really liked it. This is probably Steve Shankin's most notable work and I can understand why. Seven. The Birds, the Bees, and You and Me by Olivia Hinbaugh. I gave this five stars. I really liked the cover and the concept of this book, so I picked it up and I really liked this book. I, I was happy that the romance didn't take up too much of the book like I thought it was going to. Um, I was okay with the love interest, I kinda kinda liked him, and I really liked the whole like sex positive ambiance of the story. Number 8, Abigail Adams, Pirate of the Caribbean by Steve Shankin. I gave this three stars, it was not meant for my age group and while that's not a bad thing, it just didn't strike me as what I wanted to read. Also, it was the second in a series in what I thought was more of a companion series, but it is like chronologically you should read it, so there was that as well. Um, but if you have a kid that likes or liked uh, Magic Treehouse, this is the one to recommend them next. And number nine, The Notorious Benedict Arnold by Steve Shankin. I gave it five stars. For those of you that like Hamilton and you want something kind of like Hamilton in book form, I would recommend this. The comparison I keep making is like Hamilton is Lin Manuel Miranda's love note to Hamilton. This is Steve Shankin's love note to Benedict Arnold. This is probably my favorite Steve Shankin work. Um, and there's not a whole lot more I have to say on it that isn't said in my Goodreads review, which I will link down below. So those are the nine books I read in March. I'm sorry for how much I really don't care today, but, um, I don't know, comment stuff down below, like and subscribe, and I will see you sometime for a new one.
Bye.